Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And this is going to be the last episode of the standard version this year. We're going to have a special weekly asset roundup Christmas edition next week and we'll catch up again in the new year. In the meantime, let's check this out. Up first this week we have Senfcon with the One Office Building. Senfcon is very well known for his large glass buildings and this is no different. It's another excellent example of the workmanship this creator issues us. And I personally like the little reception glass area at the bottom, especially at night time. It really makes a difference. Next up is Flimblid with the Broom Street Synagogue. Now this is a very different type of building, it looks more like a house in my opinion, but it is a synagogue. It may be a synagogue in real life, but this has actually been created as an elementary school and when it's only 1x3 it's a beautiful, beautifully sized elementary school to plop into your city, especially a nice Brooklyn based location. King Lano is up next with the Tennessee Street Apartments. Now these are a retextured, coloured, scaled down version of the Hampton Inn Hotel without the signs, but they do look beautiful. I love the cleanliness of the actual building itself and obviously the fact it's a rounded front really makes a difference to your city skylines. Now I don't think we need to say too much about the quality of these buildings by King Leno, they are always on point. And I am a big fan of nighttime views and I do like the fact that people are really experimenting nicely with sort of windows, curtains and lights. Really does add to the atmosphere. Up next is something very different from Geometry E. We have the Chrome Hank B semi fuel truck. And yes, this is another breakthrough that we've seen on the workshop. We have a Chrome texture build. Now the chrome effect does depend upon the sky box that you're using. Mine's a little bit different to what Geometry E is using. So if you want to see a different type of view of this chrome beautiful texture, check out the workshop and have a look at your screenies. Also this week.
Till is up next and he has produced the Market Square Paderborn. Now this is another beautiful German based church and well it's a footprint of 4x8 and it really does look good. We are certainly not shy for nice churches these days on the workshop, certainly when Titan is involved. Jez has produced something fantastic this week. It's the French private school from Paris. This model has been textured extremely well and it really does give a really nice sort of private school feeling. And I am personally a fan of different type of size and shape buildings and this certainly does add a lot. You have the little courtway on the way in with the gates and the buildings wrap around that fantastically. Brilliant asset. And finally this week, my personal favourite is the York Corner Shop 1. So this is a corner shop based in the UK, so obviously it's why it's one of my favourite this week. It resembles everything that I'm used to seeing in the town centre. We have crumbs, fish and chips on the corner there. Well, what more could you want? Some fish and chips by crumbs. If you don't fancy fish and chips, pop next door. Ronix will do you a lovely pizza. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.